Hello folks, and this is Gabe doing Let's Play Army Man Final Front Part 4B. And it looks like we're in a tank this time. Uh, probably a tribute to uh, the North African campaign of World War II. It was a nice break, change of pace. What I also like here is this level and the last level didn't really have too much uh, frames per second problems. Makes me kind of wonder what the heck was going on with the uh, other levels. This level also has a good background music to it. I wish I could record it, but I can't. But pretty much this is just one of those uh, just drive the tank levels. Let's shoot the statues. Yay, we're pretending to be Afghanis. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> this is just a joke. Anyway. Unfortunately, the tank aiming system could be a little more user friendly. It keeps wanting to uh, auto aim and manual aim at the same time. It doesn't want it does want to make up its mind which one it wants to do, which can be rather irritating. It's and like I said, it's there were attempts to change to change the uh, tank mechanic so that you could drive it and shoot it. So I can't really uh, complain too bad at the attempt. But at the same time, it is compared to the other systems, could have been a little more user friendly. The only problem with stages like this is there's ambushes, but then it's not really, you know, you can predict where the ambushes are going, so it's not like it's a major whoop. Granted, of course, that there's limited uh, use of, you know, what they can and can't do with it. And this is a rather long stage, but it's just... It made things too predictable doing it that way, is how you put it, I suppose. Oh, and I might have my laptop fixed, but no promises, but I might have it fixed. And if I do, that means I can work on my other LP projects. If I don't, then I have another project in mind after the World at War series. That doesn't require, you know, memory or whatnot. Actually, it looks like this might be a combination of the the big red one and yeah, I think this could be. If anything, this kind of resembles Big Red 1 part rather than, you know, any of the other uh, World War movies. Kind of neat. For those of you who are curious why I'm saying that, uh, supposedly during the wiki it said that a lot of the uh, World at War series line of games was based upon uh, just war gimmicks at the time uh, where they just wanted to take moments or movies or whatnot and just kind of throw that in. Some of the some of the ideas incorporated very well and some of them didn't. So it makes it kind of cool and Kind of annoying depending upon which levels and stages you do.
Oh, it looks like we got some um, anti-tank buildings or something to that effect now. Oh, I thought there might have been something there. Guess not. Well, I'm hoping this game doesn't support a B-17 bomber moment. I'm dreading it already if there is. I mean, there's... I heard rumors this is a rather short game, so... Might get lucky and not have a B-17 bomber moment. But if we do, well... <laughs> Sorry guys for bringing you to another B-17 bomber moment. Looks like we're getting near the end of the level here, so I'm going to go ahead and make a save state in case I do something stupid. I, it's already like six, seven minutes already, and I don't want to waste your guys' time. Uh oh, bad camera view. Well, I'm dead air. Yeah, I figured as much. Let's go ahead and try a different route. Getting auto aim issues. See, the gun is I'm manually aiming where it should be at going, but yet it's shooting somewhere completely different. And it's just that auto aim. It gets really annoying at times. <sighs> And, I mean, it, it was going good for most of the LP, it's just stuff like this gets rather ridiculous. And look, we exploded again due to it. Oh well. Uh, basically, this is kind of like a long and boring level, uh, also, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys know what the next project is going to be. Uh, Super Marissa Land, untranslated. Uh, why I'm stressing the untranslated part is because there is no translation patch for Super Marissa World. And uh, that kind of bites. So basically, uh, what, I, what I'll do is I'll just play the game. And then you guys can... Oh, crap. We're busted out of the tank. Dang it, I went back in the tank. Uh-oh. That's a bad sign. Why the heck couldn't you just get back in the tank... Trigger these guys and get back in the tank? Is that considered too overpowered or something? Come on, now. Oh, that guy's crawling. Cool. Actual active tan, that's kind of cool. Uh -uh. Well, I wasn't expecting to get out of the tank like that. So let's try this one more time. So we'll go ahead and trigger these guys and then we'll, we'll use our grenades and just clear our way out slowly. Like I, like I said, it's just didn't want to waste nine minutes of some out of your time just replaying the level. It says I'm already at the end of it. Okay, and well go ahead and finish this one up. Come on now. Come on, little guy. Oh, shoot. Shoot, shoot. Yeah, the 
inability to tap shoot kind of hinders this game a bit as far as combat goes. Makes it really bogged down. I like it and I don't like it. It's just kind of... I don't know, as a convenience factor to the tap shooting. Alley of the Kings. Uh, seriously, look at this. <laughs> what? Neon lights? Uh, There's some 3DO humor for you. Welcome to Bowling for Tan. Use the grenades to take out the tan soldiers, and you need three strikes to win. With a neon sign up top. You're kidding me. A 3DO mini game? <laughs> uh, somebody had a sense of humor. I can tell that for sure. Well, let's see how we do here. Oh, there we go. You're the man. Strike! Looks like 3DO had a moment there, went going back to its cheesiness. That's pretty interesting, unique. Oh, didn't get a strike that time. Let's try her again. There's another strike. Oh, there's some more grenades for us. So we can just keep playing as long as we want to, as long as we get three strikes. Kind of a neat, neat game here. We can also quit if we wanted to. Making the game a little friendly too, that way. So, compliments to 3 for an interesting mini game. It says, nice bowling. Well. That's the end of that, so can you sign out? Thank you.